Mr. Boeri, at first, uh, how do you feel about your new prize, the High Rise Award? Well, I'm very happy. I think that uh, it's award. Uh, it's not simply an award to um, to the talent of an architect or to the capacity of a developer. It's a award to a collective effort to improve the quality of life uh, in our cities, and uh, it's a award to the fact that sometimes architecture has to be innovative and has to find the courage to experiment new conditions. In this case. Uh, What we have done is to simply experiment a new condition of cohabitation between uh, trees and humans at different heights. And so, I'm very happy. Um, what does the Duisburg Landscape Park uh, have in common, maybe, with the Bosco Verti Verticale? <laughs> <laughs> Probably the fact that uh, all what we have here was completely artificial. And now nature is coming back. And uh, together with nature, which is spontaneously coming back, uh, uh, it's possible. And what we can observe around here is, is that it is also that there are uh, the capacity of, uh, of humans to cultivate. Just to do an example, to use the roots as a way to clean the ground polluted. So I, I think that the idea of an agricultural methodology which is used to reuse um, the old and industrial abandoned areas, it's uh, quite interesting. So what are your, thought, what are your thoughts about that well, location? I, I, I love, I think it's very, very well done and uh, it's one of the best ex examples of reuse, of temporary use of uh, a huge industrial building. Congratulations. Um, architecture and passion. This is the motto of this year's architecture. I know, I know well um, how do these terms together function? I think that um, if you leave architecture has a, a way to experiment the new, to anticipate the future, uh, passion uh, has to be part of your life. So. That's, that's, that's a really, a, if you want, a, a border between a, the architects that are feeling themselves like simply like people who are solving problems and architects that are feeling themselves as a, people that are putting the, let me say, the present a little bit above, so that are the courage to, to deal with the future and uh, with, uh, let me say, also what is unknown in the future and you need passion to do this. Is there also a contradiction between these terms? Which one? Architecture and uh, passion? Yeah. It's uh, not a superimposition more than a contradiction because um, passion could be a way to live and experience architecture, but it not, it's not in itself a, a guarantee. How would you describe the atmosphere between architects and manufacturers, producers, um, with regard to this Congress? What's, well, I think it was amazing. So I had the feeling there was a, a public who was absolutely um, heterogeneous, and, uh, but at the same time uh, uh, was very, very well following all the parts of my, of my speech. So, um, The feeling was very good. Thank you. Thank you so much.